안녕하세요. 이번에 올리는 영상은 1990년 4월 24일 나사에서 허블 우주 망원경을 지구 저궤도에 안착하기 위하여 우주 왕복선인 디스커버리호에 싣고 케네디 우주센터에서 이륙할 때의 내부 모습들과 우주의 망원경을 무사히 안착시킨 후 지구로 귀환할 때 착륙을 처음 시뮬레이션해 본 영상으로 각도와 단계별 상황 처리가 처음이라 조금 까다로운 생각이 드네요. 조종석에서 모니터를 계속 주시하며 필터링을 하면 오히려 정확하게 착륙을 이루어낼 수 있지만 외부 화면으로 기체를 조정하니 현실감이 더 와닿게 되어 이 방법을 택해 보았습니다. 다음 주제는 최초로 인류를 달에 보낸 아폴로 11호의 이륙시부터 달의 생생 현장감을 그대로 재현하고 지구로 귀환할 때까지의 영상을 올려보겠습니다. 감사합니다. 7 minutes of run time available on the auxiliary power units. We've been holding now about 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And here's the confirmation that we have successfully recycled.
Performance is nominal. Uh, Discovery, two engine Bangarir. Nearly all right, can we help you? The two engine okay. Bangarir right. call means that uh, Discovery could reach the transatlantic abort site at Bangarir on two engines if it were necessary. Copy nominal performance, two engine Ben. I don't remember liftoff being quite that violent. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Discovery 60 nautical miles away from the launch site. Good, okay. How's everybody doing on the mid deck? Doing fine down here. Okay. All systems continuing to perform well aboard Discovery. Velocity now is 6,200 feet per second. Downrange 100 nautical miles. The uh, environmental systems officer reports the FES is operating well. That is the flash evaporator system that provides cooling to Discovery systems. Discovery Houston, negative return, press to ATO, select Banjul. Press to ATO, negative return. Big PDT is trending to zero. Copy. Yeah, coming down. Yes, coming down. 1.7 G's. Check it with my head. <laughs> it's at zero. That's good. Great news. Zero. <laughs> All three engines are stable at 104%. Auxiliary power units are performing well. Discovery's velocity is 8,400 feet per second at a downrange distance of 175 nautical miles. 2.1. Press to Miko. Press to Miko. 
The press to Miko call signifies that Discovery could make the main engine cutoff target. Discovery, Droop Banjo 109. Droop 109. And that last call means that uh, Discovery could reach the Banjo Transatlantic site on one engine at 109%. Hopefully this thing won't come off. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. This book came over the top of the... Yeah, just kind of de -velco. Guidance officer confirms that navigation is good. Discovery, single engine banjo 104. Single engine banjo 104. BPDG look good there. Yeah, let's get zero. Engines are good. Okay. Holy cow, we're smoking. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could see that. Booster officer reports, so uh, all three engines stable. Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. How many switches you think you'd be throwing now? <laughs> I know. Coming up on throttling. I agree. The single engine press call means that uh, Discovery could make it to main engine cutoff targets on one engine at 104%. Discovery's velocity now 16,000 feet per second, an altitude of 58 nautical miles, downrange 435 nautical miles. we expected. Uh, looks good, folks. Discovery Houston, concur. No action on fuel cell pH. No action is required. No impact on that uh, pH message. That uh, message was expected during this phase of the launch. Three Gs. Air throttling. Hit it to go. We got it. All right. Are you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Have to ride. Have to ride. Three engines throttling back now to maintain the 3G limits on the uh, vehicle. Discovery is 580 miles away from Kennedy at an altitude of 56 nautical miles. Yeah, this helmet's heavy. Yeah. Velocity now 19,000 uh, feet per second. You know, with this DSO and these uh, the clicks in the G-suit, you sort of get squeezed uh, every which way you can. Yeah. Okay, just go easy, guys. We are standing by for main engine cutoff at uh, 8 minutes 32 seconds, mission elapsed time. 10 seconds, Mach 25. Okay, stand by for some exhale here, just bear with it. Stand by. How'd you go? There you go. Miko! That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Miko got time, Miko got the I agree. It's a lot easier at 3G. Oh, much better. Up the space, everyone. Hard to believe, isn't it? There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, bud. Space up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> That's a killer view. Boy, look at that. What an amazing vehicle. Amazing. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. This is, uh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's space. <laughs> oh boy. Good week all looks uh nominal from here. And the booster officer also confirms a, a nominal main engine cutoff. It was decent, so good. Okay, but you did a great job. Increased it on. Yeah. Don't forget this maneuver, you're gonna feel a, a roll and a yaw. Don't worry. Being here before, we've done this a lot. Here's the maneuver, ready? Ready?